At first, it was just an idea in my head. In the past, I've worked with students and we converted gasoline cars to electric cars. So I thought, okay, we've done the electric car thing, what, what can we do next with electricity? And having this facility here, I thought, well, let's push the envelope. So it was over the summer, I emailed Dr. Cottrell with the idea and said, hey, I just, you know, got this crazy idea. Um, how about we build an electric aircraft in the Sullivan Center? And it wasn't more than maybe five or ten minutes that I got a response saying, let's do it. The UHAWK is an outstanding example of a multi-year project in which many students were involved and we now have a fully functional electric airplane that in the not too distant future we're going to take out and test and it's just a super exciting prospect and you know again part of our vision to prepare students to be problem solvers in our world. Starting in 2018, eHawk was a unique extracurricular activity that allowed students to explore the technology surrounding electric powered flight. The EMG6 design was an ideal choice for us because of its low cost and ease of construction as well as its stability and ease of flight. In addition, all of the design files were open sourced, meaning that we are able to go into the CAD and make any of the modifications necessary. The battery is an 120 volt battery and it was designed and fabricated in-house. The electronics include the motor, propeller, battery, and instruments in the front. The nominal capacity of this battery is six kilowatt hours and we estimate that we'll get at least 30 minutes of flight time from it. The wingspan measures in at around 37 feet. The length is roughly 19 and a half feet. The empty weight of the aircraft is 305 pounds with an additional 80 pounds being added in by the battery. It was honestly kind of like a crazy experience for me. Like throughout the entire four years of me working on the project, most of it has been me and like a handful of peers working on the third floor of Sullivan. So having such a big crowd and having to present all of our work it also like reminded me of how much we really have accomplished over the past four years. Um, being able to compile all of that work into like a 15 or 20 minute presentation really showed how much we were able to make progress since when we started um, back in my freshman year. Because of the, the trade winds here in Hawaii, the test flight had to be early in the morning before the winds kicked up. So we rolled the aircraft out of the hangar at probably about 6.30. Steve, the test pilot, came out to greet us and he really didn't hesitate to hop in the plane and, and just go. And I had asked him previous to that, I said, well, what are you going to do? Are you just going to do a high speed taxi run, just get the feel for it on the ground? And he said, yeah, I'll start with that, but if it feels good, I'm just going to, I'm just going to lift off. And sure enough, uh, that's what he did. I was filled with pure excitement, is what I would say. Like, maybe I should have been a little bit more nervous because it is something that's very experimental. Like, as it was building up speed on the runway, as it got faster and faster, I would grow more and more nervous. Um, but then when I saw it take off for the first time, it was like, oh my God, it's finally in the air. Like I felt a huge sigh of relief. And then especially with the subsequent test flights where we were able to fix any kinks and stuff, it's really incredible to see it fly for like a longer duration of time. I'd like to, you know, talk to these students 10 years down the road and have them reflect on what their high school experience was like and, and what do you remember of high school. And, you know, based on my experience in high school, it's, it's opportunities like these that they're really going to remember and be able to reflect upon. And they'll even, you know, drive them in their, in their future jobs and their occupations. In my um, thermodynamics lecture recently, we had a guest lecturer come in and talk about the work of converting aircrafts to um, using renewable energy or trying to make them more sustainable. So it's really interesting to see how the work that I did on the EHAWK project kind of relates to work that's being done in the industry currently. Working on this project really ignited an interest in sustainability for me personally. 
that I've been able to explore through different facets, um, both on work that involves uh, decarbonization as well as uh, other work in sustainability. After the test pilot flew it four or five times, then that gave me the confidence to hop in and fly it myself. And fortunately, the school and the administration made the resources available so that I could pursue the training required to get my pilot's license. You know, you've got to be confident if you're going to build an aircraft and then have your teacher go up and, and fly it. You know, either your teacher has, you know, a few screws loose or he or she has the trust in you that you can do the job. And that's where we're at here. Very capable students and we hope to continue, you know, pushing the envelope, doing many more projects like this.